644 now. We shared with you earlier the U.S. Coast Guard is making some big changes to cope with staffing shortages, including here in mid-Michigan at the Saginaw River Station in Bay County. Cheryl Coonan joins us live now again from our Great Lakes Bay Region newsroom with more on how other local agencies are responding to potential search and rescue situations. Cheryl? Hi again, Christine. Yeah, the Coast Guard station in Essexville and Bay County, which operates on the Saginaw River, became classified as a scheduled mission station in May, meaning the station has shifted their search and rescue to the Tawa station. A spokesperson for the Coast Guard tells us amid recruiting and retention challenges, they are short nearly 10 percent for their entire enlisted workforce. Now, staffing hours and personnel at each of the newly transitioned scheduled mission stations, including the Essexville station, will depend on local conditions, available assets, and expected boating traffic. That station is still open and staffed, typically Monday through Friday during business hours. And if staffing and resources are available at the Saginaw River, they will respond as well as for big events like the 4th of July. Some say though now there's additional pressure. Uh, so the fact that we don't know if they're available, it definitely is a game changer for us. Uh, knowing that you have a guaranteed resource in the U.S. Coast Guard that's responding to incidents, uh, it's a great feeling. So um, now that uh, you know it's only staffed 40 hours a week and, and they may not be responding, uh, it puts a lot more of the onus on us and, and Bangor Township. Uh, to deal with those emergency incidents that may take place out there. We also spoke with Chief Mike Galoner of Bangor Township Fire and Rescue. He says his department will continue to provide service to their residents to the best of their abilities. Bay County Sheriff Troy Cunningham tells us they look to add more people to their Marine Division and more equipment in the case of a water rescue. Live from the Great Lakes Bay Region Newsroom, Cheryl Coonan, ABC 12 News.